Berbaki beberapa jam lagi sebelum satelit Miasat 3D akan dilancarkan. Ia merupakan satelit ke-10 yang dilancarkan Malaysia sejak kali pertama melancarkan satelit kecil Tiongsat 1 pada tahun 1996. Dan untuk perkembangan lanjut mengenai pelancaran Miasat 3D bersama dengan rakan setugas Naila Huda yang berada di Koru French Giana. Terima kasih kepada rakan setugas di Bukit Jalil berbaki beberapa jam sahaja lagi sebelum Miasat melancarkan satelit terbaru Miasat 3D yang dibangunkan oleh Airbus dari Arian Space Launch Center di Kuru, French Guiana yang dijangkakan bermula jam 6 petang waktu tempatan iaitu pada 5 pagi waktu Kuala Lumpur. Tetapi ini bukan satu perkara baru buat Miasat yang telah pun melancarkan satelit sejak hampir 25 tahun lalu. Tapi apa yang berbeza dan baru kali ini buat pertama kali ini satu misi pertama buat Miasat untuk merapatkan jurang digital atau the digital gap khususnya buat penduduk di kawasan luar bandar melalui internet berkelajuan tinggi melalui perkhidmatan Connect Me Now. Dan kita tahu pada ketika pandemik COVID-19 antara golongan yang paling terjejas adalah penduduk di kawasan luar bandar apabila pandemik COVID-19 dan juga pelaksanaan PKP memaksa pekerja berada di rumah dan juga murid menjalani PDPR dan memerlukan internet. Internet bukan lagi satu manfaat tetapi satu hak, satu keperluan asas buat penduduk dan Miasat menyedari uh, keperluan ini dan dengan Miasat 3D, satelit terbaru dapat uh, merapatkan jurang digital ini. Dan untuk menceritakan lebih lanjut tentang proses uh, pelancaran satelit esok, sudah bersedia bersama saya Ketua Pegawai Operasi Miasat, uh, COO Miasat, Yao Chong Lim. Thank you so much, Yao, for joining me uh, to speak a little bit about the launching tomorrow. So, what's different with the Miasat 3D? I think as you already pointed out, you know, Miasat 3D, uh, apart from the payload that we have to serve our uh, existing customer, I think more importantly is that we have a Miasat 3D, uh, the HTS uh, payload in the satellite, and this HTS payload will be able to expand our existing capacity from the 3 gigabit per second to 30 gigabit per second. This is a 10 times more than capacity. Uh, with that itself, we're going to uh, increase the speed of the internet from the 30 megabit to 100 megabit per second. So um, we are very you know, uh, excited about the launch and with this launch itself, uh, we are confident that we are able to uh, support the government Jendela initiative mm. and uh, enable the country to achieve 100% internet coverage. Mm. But can you take us through the process of the launching tomorrow, perhaps mm. step by step, what can we expect with the launching? As I said, you know, it's, satellite business itself is a, it's a very risky business. Uh, mm. Anything can happen. But of course, you know, with all the hard work that we have put in, uh, we have our engineer here in Kuru itself since 13 May. Mm. They have been here almost like 40 days and they do all the sort of a testing, preparation. Um, we are confident that, you know, this is going to be a, a successful launch. You mentioned that anything can happen and I've been speaking to some of your engineers for the past few days yeah. and worst case scenario, there is a possibility that there can be delays or postponement which I believe is something actually normal for satellite launches. So what is the worst case scenario? What are some of the risks that we need to look out for tomorrow? So for the satellite launch itself, uh, We look at, you know, together with our uh, launch service provider, uh, we look at, you know, the, the weather forecast, you know, all the, uh, the, the, the situation and the, and, the, and the condition of the weather. So we take all those into consideration. And based on that, we are confident that the satellite can be launched tomorrow. But again, you know, there are certain things that we just unexpected, like the weather. So it can turn up to be anything. So there will be a scenario that, you know, we may be delayed for a few minutes or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, it could be delayed a day or it could be like, you know, uh, for whatever reason, we may need to abort the, the mission mm -hmm. and uh, work with the RN and Airbus again to find another uh, t time slot to launch. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think the good thing is that if you look at our, uh, in historically itself, mm -hmm. uh, all our launch, uh, once we have determined the launch day, mm -hmm. uh, we all, you know, uh, launch the as per schedule. 
and hopefully that's the situation that we can expect tomorrow. Thanks so much Thank for you. sharing a little bit about the launching tomorrow. Uh, diharapkan semua berjalan dengan lancar dengan yes, pelancaran Miasat 3D esok. Jangan lupa saksikan di Astro Awani jam 5 pagi waktu Kuala Lumpur dan juga uh, jam 6 petang waktu tempatan di Kuru. Dan uh, kami akan bawakan siaran langsung pelancaran satelit di 501 Astro Awani dan juga di astroawani.com dan semua platform digital uh, media sosial uh, Astro Awani dan uh, itu saja perkongsian daripada saya Naila Huda dari Kuru French Kuyana kita jumpa uh, dalam pelancaran satelit Miasat 3D esok